So this is how you know if you have ADHD and autism. I'm talking about five must-see traits that you need to know to discover all of that right now, coming up. Guys, what's going on? My name is Dan, I have autism and ADHD, and I make videos on this every single week. So if you're new around here and you wanna learn more about those specific topics, make sure to hit the subscribe button by clicking the notification bell down below, and follow me on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter for daily videos as well, because I do videos on those too, which is super dope. Okay, so. ADHD and autism is a comorbid conditioning uh, where you can have a diagnosis of both of them simultaneously or independently. But a lot of the people, and most of the people I'd say on the autism spectrum, have a comorbid diagnosis of ADHD. Now, ADHD is um, attention deficit hyperactivity disorder, but it sometimes doesn't always have hyperactivity with it. But regardless of that, this video is awesome because I've got five traits I want to talk to you about that you can see the crossover. And these things are so challenging because they impact your life in so many ways. So the first one I'm going to talk about is irritability and hyperfocus. So autistic people will be able to set, sit down and focus on a specific task or a topic, right? Um, or, or, for large amounts of time. I mean, I used to sit down and, uh, and want to watch alien movies, uh, like homemade movies of UFOs in the sky, and I was really sad, until like three o'clock in the morning and wake up on my keyboard. However, the ADHD brain kicks in and makes Makes you want to stand up and walk around and go downstairs and make some tea and then you know your legs bounce up and down and maybe walk to the side of the room and pause the video and look at something else or pause that video and look at something else so it's kind of like a battle between wanting to really focus on something and wanting to get up every 10 seconds and do something else this is so common between autism and adhd it's really funny because this is probably the biggest one that like really sucks for me and it really i think it annoys me the most but it is what it is we are who we are and we're all amazing so that was number one okay so number two is special interest and rapid interest switching oh boy let's get into it so people on the autism spectrum will have a specific topic of interest that they're obsessed with and that they really kind of obsess over right and they love to learn about they love to research love to talk about and like you talk about it for hours with them they collect all the things that in that genre of topic but the ADHD brain will then make you want to switch your obsessive interest rapidly. So you have many different special interests on the go at once. And then as soon as you've consumed enough capital on that thing, you move to something else. This is how the ADHD brain and the autism brain have this big fight pretty much every single day. And it's really fascinating to see because you can really be obsessed with many different topics and learn many different things. This is why a lot of people will say that autistic people are very intelligent or have a high IQ because they're switching between these topics and learning vast amounts of different things all the time and retaining that information, which is something that I actually do as well. And it is, again, quite a funny thing to talk about and I never really sit down and talk about it myself. This is why I'm doing this video because I want you guys to know what this is like and maybe you have it. Let me know down below. If these are resonating with you, drop me a comment down below and give the video a like. It really helps me out. Okay, so number three is fast speech and monotone talking. So autistic individuals will uh, want to talk about their special topic of interest, but they will have a very monotone talk. There will be no inflections on words and stuff like that. It'll be very monotone, almost kind of like robotic talking, but the ADHD brain will make you talk super fast. So I feel like I talk really, really fast and when I'm in real life, when I'm talking to people, I have monotone talking. When I'm doing videos, I'm performing. I'm, I'm doing this like this. But if you, were, you know, if we were talking normally and you were here with me right now, I talk like this, and it'll be very monotone talking. And I would have a very rapid speech because ADHD wants you to speak really fast because your brain's going like a thousand miles an hour. But autism wants you to have a really flat flow, you know, <laughs> flow pace to how you talk, which is really interesting because it's the most frustrating thing to me because I trip over my words all the time. And I also mumble sometimes because it's just a big kind of like, they're just hitting heads constantly, those two things. Okay, so number four is uh, wanting to be social versus social anxiety. <laughs> so lots of people with ADHD want to be social and make friends and have fun because they want to do crazy stuff and they want to kind of like, you know, really feel that um, friendship because friendship allows for a comfortable feeling uh, that you know that you're being looked after and that you're liked and you're loved and that, there's nothing wrong with that and ADHD people find interest in those things because they um, can have attention with different types of people for a short amount of time and that's great. On the other hand, and this does go for ADHD as well, but on the other hand, the, the autism brain really does have social anxiety issues and so as much as we want to go and socialize with people, we'll also find it 
very, very socially uh, uh, anxious ridden uh, to go to a pub or a club or, or, or an event or a party or something like that. So you've got this kind of like, again, this, this wants to go and socialize and then the want to also hold back from socializing because of the, uh, the social anxiety that comes with going to a specific place, which is really annoying, but it is what it is. And it's kind of funny, I suppose, in a way, but not really funny. You know what I mean? Not actually half funny, but it's like, oh, it's quite interesting, isn't it? Number five is wanting to talk a lot, but then also forgetting what you want to say. <laughs> So autistic individuals want to talk a lot about something that they love forever. I mean, if, you, if I want to sit down here and talk to you about marketing and social media marketing and management, I, I could sit down and talk to you about it forever. FYI guys, if you do want to learn anything from me like that, drop me a comment. We could always, you know, do a video on that. But I love social media marketing and, and, and everything to encompass that and SEO, you know, everything that comes into marketing. In terms of the ADHD brain, <laughs> how often do you kind of like, start saying something, but your brain starts wandering off and you forget what you're doing. You're like, oh my gosh, I'm stood up in front of my entire family telling the story and now my brain has just exited the room and I have no idea what I'm talking about. Now I have to just stop abruptly <laughs> and then nobody knows what the end of the story is and you're like, I don't even know what the end of the story is because I forgot what I'm talking about. This is so funny, this happens all the time and it's definitely, it's an ADHD classic um, but it's also annoying because the autistic part of you wants to just kind of go all like train in <laughs> and give them this like locomotive information. So that's really funny and it's 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 how it, they react. So do you suffer with the ADHD and uh, on autism kind of overlap? Let me know in the comments down below. Also, if you haven't already, download my free autism life hacks PDF book at autismhacks.net. Love you guys. Peace.